Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, The Daily Lessons, and today we're on Lesson 326. I am forever an effect of God. Father, I was created in your mind, a holy thought that never left its home. I am forever your effect, and you forever and forever are my cause. As you created me, I have remained. Where you established me, I still abide. And all your attributes abide in me because it is your will to have a son so like his cause that cause and its effect are indistinguishable. Let me know that I am an effect of God, and so I have the power to create like you. And as it is in heaven, so on earth. Your plan I follow here, and at the end I know that you will gather your effects into the tranquil heaven of your love, where heaven, I'm sorry, where earth will vanish, and all separate thoughts unite in glory as the Son of God. Let us today behold earth disappear, at first transformed, then forgiven, fade entirely into God's holy will. I'll read it again. I am forever an effect of God. Father, I was created in your mind, a holy thought that has never left its home. I am forever your effect, and you forever and forever are my cause. As you created me, I have remained. Where you established me, I still abide. And all your attributes abide in me, because it is your will to have a son so like his cause, that cause and its effect are indistinguishable. Let me know that I am an effect of God, and so I have the power to create like you. And as it is in heaven, so on earth. Your plan I follow here, and at the end I know that you will gather your effects into the tranquil heaven of your love, where earth shall vanish and all separate thoughts unite in glory as the Son of God. Let us today behold earth disappear, at first transformed, then forgiven, fade entirely into God's holy will. This is another excellent, excellent lesson. And let me use my words to help shine some light on it. So this is the teaching that explains that we are each created by God to be God's experience of our life. So when it says, I am forever an effect of God, what it's saying is we are each individually created by God to be God in this life, in this form, to have these experiences. So God is our effect and our cause. So, and when it says, as you created me, I have remained, what it means is, is that basically um, we are each cast in the life as the player of God's choosing. Our life is not random. Nothing that's going on here on this planet is random or by accident or in any way without purpose. Everything here, everything that's happening, every human that exists, it was all created by God to be God's expression. And so in your life, God choose, chose to create you. And you were in agreement with it. 
even if you have memories of not being in agreement or of not wanting to come, you wouldn't be here had you not ultimately agreed to be here, to play this role, if you will, to be cast as this player in God's play. Each of us is here being God's expression. And I think that, that perhaps that awakening alone will be remarkable for individuals to come to terms with. Are you being what God imagined when he imagined you into being? When he caused you to be in effect? I think most people are very disconnected from that relationship with divinity, with the divinity that is animating them. I don't think the world would look anything like it does if we were all to realize that this is what's happening here. So I hope you have a great day with this today. And uh, if you'd like additional support, you can uh, reach out to me, 907-351-3003. Texting is best. Uh, message me through Facebook or SoundCloud or YouTube or my websites, lindalamp.com and lindalamp.shop. And I will see you here tomorrow for the next daily lesson. They are just so very powerful. I mean, they've all been powerful, but but uh, I guess I'm excited because we're nearing the completion of the teachings. And so we're getting it all, right? So until tomorrow, namaste and much love. <laughs>